Whether I got permission or not, I'm coming in here filming you. <laughs> filming you. Oh, you're making potatoes, like uh, mashed, mashed potatoes? potatoes? Yeah. Are you okay. not having any? No, I, I didn't cook any potatoes. I'm making asparagus, squash, macaroni and cheese. I got all your messiness. Time. I'm lighting the stove. Yes, it takes propane and um, you have to use an external uh, light. As you see, this is the stuffing. I decided not to use water. I want to use chicken stock with a stick of butter. Just it boiling. So again, I'm being lazy. I didn't want to be in the kitchen all day. Stove top stuffing. I'm gonna save your propane. Now making gravy, as you see this little quote, you boil it for 45 minutes and this is how it looks. You remove all the gizzards and that turkey neck out of there and then just pour the broth into a separate bowl. I wanted to add some extra flavor so I added um, additional chicken stock to the gravy. In order to thicken up the broth or th thicken up the gravy, you want to add in some flour, and in this case, I'm adding wheat. For some extra seasoning, I add in some homestyle gravy. The next item on my list is this butternut squash. You just simply put it in the oven uh, for about 30 minutes at um, about 400 to 350 degrees. So my asparagus are not fitted in this. Bold. Now I'm taking my asparagus and then I'm just going to chop it in half so that it all fits nicely into that little container. Now once my asparagus is chopped in half, I'm going to take some olive oil and some pink Himalayan salt. So now my squash is done, and you want to make sure that it's nice and soft, and I'm struggling to get it out. Now it's time to put my asparagus in the oven. Um, I chopped up some cherry tomatoes so that it can look decorative and nice. As you know, I've used my electric oven to cook everything. The propane oven I tend not to use just because it cooks unevenly, so I just use it to store. This is my favorite cornbread. I use Jiffy Mix, the whole entire box, and then I use half of the um, Betty Crocker's like cake mix. The reason why I use cake mix is because it makes the cornbread a lot fluffier. It also makes it a, a little bit of a treat, like almost like dessert. As you know, when you're baking, you mix all your dry ingredients first, and then you add your wet ingredients next. So the first liquid I'm mixing in is my milk. You just slowly mix that in so that you can get the consistency across um, your cake mix. Your Thanksgiving dinner in the RV, boo. <laughs> can we come in hard? Hey. <laughs> can you see yourself about around Betty Crocker and Jiffy? There you go, Kirstie. Everybody, <laughs> I'm leaving now. It's weird. My lovely assistant was kind enough to give me my melted butter, so that's what I'm going to mix next into the mixture. Then you're going to mix in your oil. I'm using olive oil. The next thing that I add to the mixture is four eggs. Dunzo. Your consistency should look as such, and now you just pour it into your baking dish. Next item on my list is mac and cheese. I use uh, different types of cheese. I also chopped up some Velveeta cheese, which you don't see here, but I didn't use much of that. 
You want to chop into like consistent um, cubes so that they can melt when you add them to the mixture that I'm going to show you here in a second. And voila, you're magically done. I just simply put my cheese in a bowl, put it off to the side so that it can use the workspace again. So you know when your macaroni and noodles are done, when you can just simply take it and then uh, poke it in half. So this is the mixture that you use in order to melt your butter. It's simply milk, a little bit of flour, and butter. You bring your mixture to a boil and then now you can start adding your cheese and the cheese will just easily melt into it. You wanna get all the chunks or let's say the larger pieces of the cheese melted down and then this is your final consistency. I've already strained the water out of my macaroni and I put it into a bowl. Now I'm just mixing the cheese. Now here goes your yummy, creamy macaroni and cheese. Taking a turkey down to my neighbor's house. <laughs> Cause I wanted some fried turkey today. And plus I didn't want to cook it forever. Cause it takes forever to cook turkey. I didn't want to wake up at 3 a.m. And I want to eat at lunch. There's a lot of things that I want and I don't want to do. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little chilly. Selfie before you run into it. What? It's, it's not on selfie mode. It's not on. It's, it's filming. Hey, ladies. Oh, recording. I'm recording. Caption in a moment. So these are my neighbors that are actually frying my turkey for me. Now that I'm done messing with my neighbor. Look at that beautiful turkey. Mm. The holiday meal is finally ready. The macaroni and cheese, cornbread, asparagus, yummy stuffing. Yummy squash, all the fixings, and of course, to round out the entire meal, the turkey. Then I almost forgot about the wine and the stupid cranberry sauce that my best friend loves. Hope that you enjoyed how to cook a holiday meal in the RV and stay tuned to the next video, which is RV Road Trip.